Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best budget cameras in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'm trying to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Nikon D3500 – Best for Beginners This one is a great camera that offers amazing features along with excellent picture quality. It's very easy to use and feels very comfortable in the hands. I should also mention that the battery life of the D3500 is just amazing and can take up to 1550 shots. It has many other superb features that you might want to look at. This camera has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and an ISO range of 100 to 25,600. It can shoot continuously at 5 frames per second and is capable of full HD 1080 by 60 pixel video shooting. It has plenty of picture control options. There are seven modes – Vivid, Standard, Monochrome, Neutral, Landscape, Flat and Portrait. The noise performance is very good too on this one. It has many other great features that you should check out and it has the same 11-point focus module as Nikon's other cameras. You can power on the camera and it immediately focuses and takes the picture for 0.5 seconds. When it comes to battery life, this camera has one of the best battery lives. It can last you for days if you shoot through the optical viewfinder. So in conclusion, I'd like to say that this camera does a great job for beginners and for everyone who likes DSLR cameras. You should check it out and see if it fits your needs. Number 4. GoPro Hero 8 – Best Action Camera When it comes to waterproof and action cameras, there's only one leader – it's GoPro. As you may know, GoPro has produced some fine pieces that make this company one of the best in terms of waterproof and extreme sports cameras. You already know that GoPro always produces great quality, amazing images and many more great features that make this camera very suitable for vlogging too. It's a bit taller than the Hero 7, but it is thinner. I should mention that the front lens has a Gorilla Glass protection, and this version has big room on the side of the camera that covers the USB-C port, battery, and micro SD card. The 12 megapixel camera can produce some extremely nice photos, and videos are amazing too. The video resolution can go up to 4K at 60fps, with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. I can say it's the best action camera on the market. It's a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, it's worth it. You can stick with the GoPro Hero 7, but the Hero 8 has new great features that are a must for a hardcore user. I would highly recommend the Hero 8 to anyone who wants one of the best cameras for YouTube and vlogging. Number 3. Canon EOS M50 – Best Mirrorless Camera Here we have a pretty powerful mirrorless camera from the company's lineup. The Canon EOS M50, which is one of my favorite cameras in the market, and it delivers so much value for its price. Definitely a beast in its league. It's also a very versatile tool capable of doing so much, be it photography, video, wildlife, portraits, street photography, and many more. The Canon EOS M50 has an interesting design that looks a little blockier than most cameras in the company's lineup, but not bad by any means. It's built with a strong polycarbonate all around and has a superb feel in hand with its leatherette effect on the hand grip and its compact dimensions. To go along with that sophisticated system, the company also has utilized the dual-pixel CMOS AF system on the main 24.1 megapixel image sensor of the camera. It also has the Digic 8 image processor that delivers great image quality with plenty of polish and noise reduction. The camera delivers 4K video quality without losing any focus so you can shoot great videos with this one. With everything considered and taken into the equation, the Canon EOS M50 is a superb camera that for its price brings more than anything to the table. Number 2. Panasonic Lumix G7 – Best Runner-Up Moving on, we have the Panasonic Lumix G7 4K, which is an excellent mirrorless interchangeable lens camera from the company's lineup. It delivers an excellent performance with its good sensor, speedy autofocus performance, light body, OLED viewfinder, very angled touchscreen display, 4K shooting, and plenty of other features that make it a pretty capable machine. First of all, I have to mention the design and aesthetics of the Panasonic Lumix G7, as the company with this camera has adopted a more angular and boxy design, similar to the Fujifilm cameras, however in a more modern and contemporary manner. 
But then again, it is still a retro-looking device. It has a good hand grip on the camera that delivers great comfort and security while shooting. The controls on this device are also excellent and deliver a great amount of creative freedom. The very angled touchscreen display is a 3-inch one with great resolution, delivering sharp previews with accurate colors, and the live view mode works pleasantly. It uses Panasonic's trademark 49 area autofocus points with a contrast detect sensor and plenty of autofocus modes. It was quick at focusing on subjects regardless of if it was moving or still. Performance was the same. It has plenty of modes you could utilize and they all work excellently and overall I have zero complaints about the autofocus performance. Number 1. Canon EOS Rebel T7 – Best Overall one of the best budget DSLR cameras in 2021 is the Canon EOS Rebel T7. This camera is the predecessor of the EOS 1300D, and it comes with all the improvements that make it a perfect camera for your needs. Let's check it out. Like the T6, the new EOS Rebel T7 is one of the smaller DSLRs on the market. It weighs 1.75 pounds with a battery and SD card, and measures 5.1 by 3.9 by 3.1 inches. The Canon EOS Rebel T7 might have a plastic build overall, and it hasn't changed much in terms of design, but it has all the good features of its predecessor. For example, the super deep hand grip that has some nice texture to it. One of my favorite things about this camera is that it has a great body balance and works great even when combined with super heavy telephoto lenses. The autofocus system is the same as on its predecessor, the classic but exceptional 9-point autofocus system that's done wonders and will continue to do so. The most important thing about this camera is its amazing 24.1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor that delivers some exceptional detail. The noise is controlled perfectly and the dynamic range is perfect overall. The best for its price. Buying Guide ISO ISO range of your camera translates to the sensitivity of your sensor. This can span from 50 to millions in the best cameras out there. But to be safe, you should know that the ISO level of your camera translates into better light sensitivity, meaning it can address a better low-light performance. Then again, you should also know that if you get a camera with a high ISO setting, you should also check to see if the camera has good noise cancellation features, because the higher you go up the ISO range, the more noise your images will have. Focus System After the ISO range, you should check out the focus system of the camera in question, since it'll present the accuracy needed to shoot in such circumstances. It doesn't matter if you have the perfect ISO range or the best sensor on the camera, the results will be subpar if your camera can't focus properly on the subject. So choose the camera with the best autofocus system that your money can afford. Don't just shoot the system that has the most focus points, but preferably ones that have cross points or hybrid systems that combine the best of both worlds. Price The biggest mistake those who buy a camera can make is to choose the most expensive body and the rest of the money gets spent on some inexpensive lens. This is the wrong decision. If you want to get great quality images, you need a really good camera lens that can cost even more than your camera sometimes. Shutter Priority Similar to Aperture Priority, this is another semi-automatic shooting mode, though in this instance you as the photographer set the shutter speed and the camera will take care of the aperture. The shutter speed, measured in seconds or more often fractions of a second, is the amount of time the shutter stays open when taking a photograph. The longer the shutter stays open, the more light passes through to the sensor to be captured.